I was back in my avocado grove yesterday and I smelt a dead animal and I found a dead peacock that had been attacked. A second bird. You can see the legs right here. Look at this guys. This is a peacock that has been attacked by some sort of a predator. Whatever animal was here scattered the peacock everywhere. Look at this whole bundle of feathers right here. We got trap number one here. Taking this lever and lifting the trap open. He's going to hit the button and the trap is going to snap shut. We're gonna head right now. We're gonna go get our traps. We're gonna set the traps in the field and hopefully catch this culprit. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well, today's video of course was absolutely insane. So if you guys have been following the channel for a little bit, you will know that about a couple of weeks ago, back in my avocado grove, we rescued a peacock with an injured leg. I wasn't sure how this peacock got an injured leg, whether he was running and got an injured leg, whether he was attacked by an animal. So for the past couple of weeks, we've been rehabilitating him and he is doing incredibly well. He's finally starting to walk again. But my worst fears have been confirmed. I was back in my avocado grove yesterday and I smelt a dead animal and I followed the scent and I found a dead peacock that had been attacked a second bird that had been attacked and left dead in my back avocado grove guys this is not good at all because this means that there is some sort of a predator so if you guys know me you knew when I saw that I said well guys we have got to do something about it and I certainly did I went back there I set some traps and guys you are not going to believe what happened, guys. I'm not going to reveal any more. So if you guys want to see what happened to this second dead peacock, if we trapped the predator, and if we did or where it is now, well, guys, you are in the right place, and we're going to hop right into today's video now. Guys, you're not going to believe what I just found here in my avocado grove. Now, if you guys have been following the channel, you will know that we actually found a peacock with a messed up leg here inside of the grove just a couple of weeks ago. He was way in the back over there and he just kind of appeared out of nowhere. I've seen peacocks here on the property. He appeared out of nowhere with a messed up leg, like something was trying to attack him. So we rescued him. We've been rehabilitating him. He is doing well, but guys, I just found something that confirms my worst fears. I was here picking some weeds for my lizards to eat and look what I found. I have found a mauled, attacked peacock. Guys, look at this. You could see this is a peacock that got attacked. You could see the feathers. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. You can see the legs right here. Look at this, guys. This is a peacock that has been attacked by some sort of a predator. Part of him is here. And then more of it is over here, like the predator dragged it around. Guys, this is not good and so sad. Look at this. A gorgeous peacock gone too soon because some sort of an animal is living back here in the avocado grove, hunting down the peacocks. This is not good at all because I have a lot of animals here on my preserve. And I'm just about to put my emus outside to live for the summer. But now that we're dealing with some sort of a predator like this, I'm not sure if I should put mine out yet until they get a little bigger because whatever took down this peacock could certainly take down my emus. Look at this whole bundle of feathers right here. Absolutely insane, guys, that this is happening right here on my preserve. And there's a track right here. You can see there's more feathers. Whatever animal was here scattered the peacock everywhere. Now we could be dealing with a number of predators that could have done this. If I'm gonna guess correctly, it was either a fox, a raccoon, a dog, a feral house cat, um, I, maybe a possum. Oh, I just walked in a spider web, guys. <laughs> oh, okay, I got the spiders off. But like I was saying, we could be dealing with many different predators here. We could have raccoons and foxes. We could just have raccoons, guys. I am not entirely sure what is attacking animals here on my preserve, guys. Now go right now and comment down below what you guys think it was. I am thinking it is time to go and bust out the traps and it is time to set some serious traps here in my avocado grove to hopefully catch whatever is doing this because for the time being, it's probably living here back in the dense forest so he can stay hidden. So whatever animal is attacking the peacock will most definitely move further into my property. So we have got to stop this serious problem before it turns into an even bigger problem. Guys, we're going to head right now. We're going to go get our traps. We're going to set the traps in the field and hopefully Hopefully catch this culprit. Guys, I'm back in the avocado grove and I have my three traps right over here. We've got the three traps and we are going to be setting those traps in just a few short moments to hopefully catch whatever attacked this poor peacock. And I wanna show you guys this poor peacock once again. This guy has been totally attacked. He's been mutilated and eaten. But look at his feet. 
The thing with these birds is their feet normally kind of stay intact. They kind of just dry out so you can see he's got like these dinosaur-like feet and it really is so sad to actually see this because even though these peacocks are invasive and a lot of people don't like them, I personally love to have them around. I love seeing them. They're just beautiful birds and they're just amazing to have around. But something in this field is attacking them. So whatever attacked this bird attacked the other peacock that we rescued and he is most likely here lurking around searching for more peacocks and maybe even other animals to eat and attack. We are going to leave him right here and we are going to set trap number one here at ground zero, the spot where this bird was attacked. You know, maybe the peacock was sleeping in the trees at night, something climbed up and got him, guys. I'm not entirely sure, but what I am sure of is I am sure we're going to try our very best to trap this predator. We've got trap number one here and we are going to use our largest trap at ground zero. So I'm thinking we're literally gonna set this trap right here. This is where the trap is going to go and we have got to bait our trap. So my bait of choice is always cat food because whatever it may be, a fox, raccoon, possum, they're gonna like cat food. It's smelly, it attracts animals and pretty much any predator that I know of is going to love cat food. So we're just gonna crack open our can of cat food just like that and we're going to take a nice little spoonful of cat food. Um, I've gotta taste it first to make sure it's not poisonous. Okay guys, that's good stuff. I'm just kidding guys, we did not eat this cat food. I would never eat cat food. All right, now on to business. We've got our cat food. We're just gonna put one scoop there, but we're gonna put a couple of scoops on here. We want the scent to be very strong because whatever animal is here is definitely gonna be lurking around tonight, I would think, I would hope so, because we want to trap it. We want to get rid of him. So we've got our food right here. So if you guys have been watching the channel, you will know how these traps work. If you haven't, I'm going to explain it right now. So we're going to open our trap up. We're going to just stick our food right in the back over there. And the food is in the back and we have our little trap door. So basically what we're going to be doing with this trap right here is we're going to be taking this lever and lifting the trap open. We're then going to balance the lever on the trap door just like this. He's going to hit the button and the trap is going to snap shut. And that is exactly what we want. So we're gonna take the trap door, we're gonna lift it up right here and we are going to get it set, guys. And we're there, trap number one is set. It's ready to go, guys, and hopefully we'll be able to catch this culprit. So now that trap number one is set, guys, it's time to set trap number two and trap number three. Guys, I was in the process of picking out trap number two and I just saw the craziest lizard over here. Guys, I'm gonna try to go catch him right now. We're gonna see, stay right here because guys, if you follow me, we might scare the lizard. So I'm gonna go get the lizard right now, okay? So, shh. I got it, guys. I caught him. Look at that. Big, invasive, Cuban night and all. Look at this guy, he's got a serious attitude. He is trying to bite me right now. If I put my finger there, guys, I am going to get bit. I don't know if I wanna get bit, guys. I'm not gonna do that because we just wanna admire how beautiful he is. If you don't put your finger there, if you don't try to bother him, he's not going to bite you. But guys, look how amazing this is. Now this is one of many invasive species. Ah! I'm just kidding guys, that did not hurt one bit, but unfortunately, since this is an invasive species, it's actually illegal for us to re-release this anole back into the wild. But good thing is, I've got a buddy that collects these Cuban anoles, so we're gonna take this anole, we're gonna give it to him, and he's gonna live an incredible life in captivity. Guys, I think I have located the burrow of this predator. Guys, come over here, I was just looking, and what I found is absolutely insane. Come over here, guys. This right here is where I wanted to put trap number two. And then I noticed deep up in here that there's feathers in the hole, guys. There is feathers from a peacock. Look at this. I want to reach my hand in. Okay, look at that. Look, peacock feathers inside of the hole. This is where the predator must be living. This is absolutely insane to see. Look in here. Come look right up in here. Look at the inside of this burrow right here. This is absolutely insane. Let me wait for it to focus. Look at all the feathers inside of the burrow. I have never seen anything quite like this in my life. This is probably one of the craziest trapping stories that we are going to have here. Okay, well, all I see in there is a ton of more feathers. So this is where we're going to set the second trap. And I've decided we are not even gonna set a third trap because we have trap number one there. This is where it must be living 
and this is where we're gonna set the final trap. So we're just going to do the same thing. We've gotta get our plate out of here. Oh, no, oh crap. I've almost got the plate, I've almost got it. Okay, I've got the plate right here and we are going to be doing the same thing like we did before. We're gonna put our plate here and we're just gonna take a couple scoops of cat food and this trap pretty much works the same exact way. We're just gonna slide our food right on in the back right here. And for this trap, we're just going to set this little notch right here. It's a little bit messed up. This trap is getting to be a little bit old. We've used this trap a lot. And let's see, and it is set. Look at this, guys. The trap is set here. Anything comes in and touches this ramp, bam, the trap is going to slam shut. This is exactly what we want. So we always test the traps at least once or twice before we actually leave them to make sure they're working perfectly. Not only are we gonna set the trap right here, but we're also going to set a little trail of food for it. We're gonna take this little bit right here, and we're just gonna toss a little food there. We're gonna toss a little more, and we're going to basically make a little trail leading from the burrow into the trap. So we're gonna put one more scoop there, and one more here. Guys, our traps are set. We are ready to trap these culprits. So now the hard part is here. This is the waiting game, guys. I will be back with all of you tomorrow morning once the traps have set overnight, and hopefully then we'll have caught our predator the next day. Good morning, good morning, my beautiful people. It is the morning time now, and I am excited to check our traps because hopefully we will have caught this predator. Now I have decided not to look. I can see the traps in my peripheral vision, but I've decided not to look over there yet to see if anything was in there because I wanted my reaction to be natural. I wanted to be in the dark so we could both kind of find out together. I think it makes it just a little bit more fun. So guys, let, without further ado, let's take a look. The trap is flipped. The trap is flipped. This is not good. Guys, we certainly didn't catch anything. The trap is wide open. The food hasn't even been touched, and the trap was flipped. Guys, this is not good at all. We might be dealing with a much larger predator than I thought. We now we're gonna go over here and nothing, nothing at all. The trap has not been set off, but the trap has been shifted as well. It's been moved a little bit. Guys, look at this. I can't believe this, look. Oh, but the food is gone. There's only one piece of food left in the trap, guys. Look at that. Only one piece of food left. And this is really strange, guys. I am not entirely sure why this is happening. Guys, this is very, very different. This is unlike anything that I have seen before. And there's feathers there. Look, there's feathers. These were not here before. Or maybe they were here before. Oh, my gosh. But this does not look like it's peacock feathers. This actually looks like it's pigeon feathers. So we're dealing with a predator that now has certainly attacked three different birds. It's attacked the one that we rescued. It totally killed this other peacock and... Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh my goodness. This bird. Guys, this is really bad. Let me do a quick exam because depending on how this bird looks, I can't show it on camera and... Oh my gosh. The back of his head does not look good. He's got feathers going everywhere. Guys, we are dealing with a much worse predator than I thought. I thought we were gonna deal with some sort of a raccoon. I'm not sure what it is, but I just don't have any more for today's episode because I'm honestly a little bit worried right now. That's gonna end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video despite not trapping any sort of a culprit. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below a prayer for this little bird as well as the peacock over there. And if you guys want to see us develop an even more sophisticated trap system, set them around here and hopefully catch this predator. Well, you guys are in the right place. So if you have not done that yet, right, guys, go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I post.